Yeah, so Charles has got a brand new Glock. First pistol he's ever bought on his own. Oh, look at this. We pull up over here to go shooting and there's a fire underneath here. All right, so we've decided to do our civic duty here and put this fire out. All right, so take two. This is Charles's new Glock, first pistol he's ever purchased for himself. How's it feel? I like it a lot. Actually. Yeah? I'm so glad I went with this one. Well, it's Friday, heading off on another adventure. This time I'm going out looking for a camping site that's gonna accommodate Christopher in his trailer. He's gonna be coming out this weekend and his girlfriend has three days off, but he doesn't. So the key is to try to find a campsite near his work. But anyhow, so that's the plan for the day. We're gonna go see what we can find. This is the harbor entrance to Winchester Bay. Well, it's early Saturday morning. Charles and I are heading off to do some search and rescue training. Woohoo! Love doing this stuff on Saturday morning. Our training turned out to be a simulation of a young boy lost, and really it was more of a wellness check. We ended up finding him, and so did the dogs. It was a great day. All right, I'm arriving here at L Creek Campground. I think this is gonna be where we're gonna stay. Gonna go ahead and cruise on through it and see what kind of spot I can find. All right, here at Eel Creek Campground, I think I found a spot uh, down in this little hole right here. It's kind of a cool place. Put this old piece of wet, old piece of wet firewood in this bucket for my anchor. Well, we're all set up here for the night now. Got my good old double pad back there. Yes, indeedy. My sleeping bag is set up like a quilt, or it's just a big blanket. My new center post. I have to make some adjustments on that. If you notice in the setup video, it kind of snagged. It's just a little too tall. Somebody's missing. No, man, we gotta say what we got here. We got some big old slab of hog ribs. <laughs> Sydney here herself <laughs> cut it up killed this thing and butchered it herself and but we don't have a saw to cut off the spine so we're gonna eat like Vikings and just cut chunks of meat off and eat yes I got the eat eat the meat here we've eaten to our fill there's some for Christopher to take for lunch for work there's some for Chuck to take home <laughs> and then we still have a giant two and a half pound roast right there and another pound and a half of roast right there. Num num. Well, well, it's morning here in the campground. Time to 
get up, get dressed, figure out what's going down, see if we're going to have some rain today or not. Morning, everyone. God bless. big site got room for Christopher's trailer here my truck the bathrooms are just up that path that way about 100 yards come into camp here got a really nice dog romping area a couple trails over here to the side the main reason I picked this camp so Christopher's dog can go run around, excuse me, Sydney's dog can go run around and enjoy itself. Nice quiet campground. This is one of the only on this side of the dunes that doesn't have dune access, so you don't have a lot of motor noise in the morning from everybody starting up their quads. It's side by sides. A pretty nice little setup. My trailer's not really leaking anymore where it's broken, but I put that out just so I can have a little front porch, kind of kind of like that. So I can get up in the middle of the night and go pee without getting wet. Well, unfortunately, Christopher fell ill and uh, we had to cut the trip short. Just really, really sick. Not sure what's going on. It's not food poisoning. We all ate the same thing. But unfortunately, I had to cut it short, so home. It's been a good time. Hope you enjoy the video. God bless. Thank you very, very much for watching.